The coronavirus death toll in the U.S. surpassing China's total reported count Tuesday. U.S. media reporting roughly three out of four Americans are now or will soon be under instructions to stay indoors as the COVID-19 crisis deepens. Maryland, one of the latest states to shut down for all but essential services. By midday Tuesday, the region reporting more than 1,600 infections. On the other side of the country, an example of the measures officials are taking to help quarantine those who've tested positive. Los Angeles County setting up an RV park for those who have nowhere else to self-isolate. In Las Vegas, a stadium parking lot set up as a temporary place for homeless people, white lines on the ground marking spots where they can sleep at a safe distance from each other. New York City is still home to the biggest outbreak in the U.S. New temporary facilities like this site in Central Park set to open to patients Tuesday. New York's Governor Andrew Cuomo revealing in his daily update that cases in his state had increased by more than 9,000 from a day earlier to nearly 76,000 by lunchtime Tuesday. Everyone, everyone is subject to this virus. It is the great equalizer. Among those who've tested positive, the governor's younger brother, CNN anchor Chris Cuomo. He's uh, young, in good shape, uh, strong, not as strong as he thinks, but uh, he will be fine. But there's a lesson in this. He's an essential worker, member of the press, so uh, he's been out there. If you go out there, the chance that you get infected is very high. Uh, I spoke to him this morning, and uh, he's going to be quarantined uh, in his basement at home. Much of the focus in the U.S. has been on New York, and for good reason. But we have been talking about other hotspots emerging south of our border. Detroit, Chicago, New Orleans. Well, an update out of Louisiana painting an alarming picture there. The state reporting 1,200 cases in just one day. That's a hike of about 30 percent. The state's governor, no surprise, urging people to stay at home. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.